Some call her Mariah and others call her Mimi, but everyone calls her a diva. I'm not as casual as most people, but um, I, I, I guess I could be. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 most diva Mariah Carey moments. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we'll be choosing the most outrageous things that pop icon Mariah Carey has ever said or done. I see your iPhone, please turn it down, and that was my bad side as well. <laughs> Number 10, she won't let her backup singers outshine her. Mariah Carey is the owner of one of the most famous voices in the music industry. Though claims that her squeakiest high note is on par with that of a dolphin are greatly exaggerated, Mariah's vocal range is still impressive. She can even enter what's known as a whistle register, a feat few other pop stars are able to achieve, and they better not try to either. In 2008, Mariah appeared on Good Morning America to perform her 18th chart-topping song, Touch My Body. Touch my body. became very awkward when Mariah thought she was being sung over by one of her backup singers, reprimanding her with an audible, Stop singing my part now, baby. Stop singing my part now, baby. Number 9. She never celebrates her birthdays. First of all, I'm still young because I, I discount numbers. Numerically speaking, Okay. I stopped counting at 17, so I don't know. Wait, a diva like Mariah Carey doesn't do birthday parties? You might be thinking that this is a rare moment of modesty for the iconic pop star but don't give her that credit just yet. When asked questions about her age or birthday in interviews, the singer always dodges them or gives vague responses, like the one she gave to Complex magazine. I don't have a birthday, she said. I was just dropped here. It was a fairyland experience. Right. But seriously, Mariah, what gives? The answer she revealed to Out Magazine is quintessential diva. She said, I don't count years, but I definitely rebuke them. I have anniversaries, not birthdays, because I celebrate life, darling. You know, I don't have birthdays, I only have anniversaries, so it doesn't count. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you, you can borrow that if you want one day. <laughs> Number eight, she claimed that she was pregnant for 47 weeks. But yes, we are pregnant, this is true. Not only is this a truly unbelievable claim, but the setting she did it in is equally strange. You might think that Mariah would save talking about her pregnancy for a magazine or talk show interview, but no, Mariah made this not-so-factual claim during an appearance on the shopping channel HSN. She was supposed to be promoting items for her fashion line, but seemed more interested in talking about her personal life and inventing words like camouflagian. And because I was pregnant when I was creating this stuff, I was like, uh-oh, I need a camouflagian moment. While most pregnancies average 40 weeks, Mariah said that hers lasted for literally 47. You have to keep them in as long as long as possible because it's a sacrifice you make for them. Right. And so literally I was like 47 weeks pregnant. Really, Mariah? That's almost a whole year of being pregnant. Someone needs to remind her what literally means. Number seven, she has strict rules about how she's filmed and lit. I don't hate it. Parodies I don't hate it and when stuff. it's well lit. I mean, they just have to light it. I'm petrified of bad lighting. Yeah. Mariah Carey is very particular about being on screen, which, to be honest, isn't unusual for a star of her level, but Mariah takes it to a whole other level. You know how you could do a picture, and the more you are uncomfortable, the better it looks? Right. Got you. So it's you might be like, pose, this is totally awkward, but it's giving you clavicle, darling, clavicle. This bone here is the clavicle. <laughs> she appeared in numerous TV shows and films, and whether the format is a big Hollywood production or a low-budget reality series, she knows exactly how she wants to be seen. Some of her rules are weirdly specific, like not wanting to be seen in fluorescent lighting without sunglasses. For her appearance on HSN, she had no qualms about dictating to the camera crew, Take the camera off me, please, and I know you guys hear me. Because I'm okay, I see it on me. And took things a step further for a radio interview in 2014, where she brought a lighting crew of her own. Yes, we've never had a real live diva. That's right. In the building, no. This is different. <laughs> you had lighting come before yeah, She has a light, her own personal lighting crew. I'm not mad at That's why we need to cut these lights. Number six, she doesn't do buses or stairs. You're probably picking up by now that Mimi is prone to exaggeration. Like any diva worth her salt, Mariah is well above slumming it on public transport. She once stated, I've already been on the bus, I don't need to go back on the bus. That's fair enough for one of the most famous pop stars in the world. Avoiding buses is one thing, but avoiding stairs is an impressive feat, if we can believe it. Her tour writers have warned venues against making her use them since 2000. If that viral video of her being wheeled to a stage in 2016 is anything to go by, maybe she avoids walking now as well. 
Number five, she kept a room dedicated to her fan mail. They're packing all these fan books and all these stuffed animals and all these things and pictures and stuff because I do put them in the butterfly fan room. In 2002, Mariah appeared on an episode of MTV's Cribs, a show that took viewers on a tour of celebrity houses. For those who haven't witnessed this iconic piece of pop culture history, the highlights of the episode include seeing Mariah's Narnia-sized closet of clothes and shoes and stripping off to take a dip in her penthouse sweet hot tub. The singer also took the cameras into a butterfly-themed guest bedroom that doubled as a shrine to her fans' love for her, with fan mail collected in scrapbooks. I have books from my fans. As sweet as this is, it's also a pretty diva move to leave love letters to yourself in full view of your guests. Number 4. She works out in stilettos and fishnets. All the while in my 4-inch heels and the black ensemble. You'd have to see this one to believe it. And thanks to Mariah's Instagram account, we can do just that. In February 2017, while the rest of us were freezing in our big winter coats, Mariah was heating up the gym with her choice of workout gear. Mimi posted several not at all candid snaps of herself exercising in a low-cut top, fishnets, and a pair of Puma high heels. Her excuse? That her feet repel flat shoes. This is not the first time that I've worked out in heels. Like, I remember the first time I did this on Cribs and everyone was like, oh my gosh, she's working out in heels. What is she doing? Her choice in footwear baffled the internet, but delighted their celebrity designer, Rihanna. Considering Mariah has ridden the subway and taken her kids to a play in ball gowns, maybe we shouldn't be that surprised at this one. Number three, she played one of her own songs while giving birth. probably heard that some women have over-the-top birth plans, but once again you haven't heard anything until you've heard about Mariah Carey's. When her then-husband Nick Cannon was interviewed on The Gail King Show in 2011, he revealed that their newborn twins had quite the audio reception. He said Mariah wanted to make sure that the babies came out not only to a Mariah Carey song, but a live performance from Mariah Carey, specifically a live version of Fantasy. The baby girl's birth allegedly coincided with a round of applause from the song's audience so at least they got a warm welcome. <laughs> Number 2. Her Ridiculous Tour Riders I just want to take a sip of tea if they'll let me. They told me there would be tea. Oh, it's a disaster. Okay, well, we'll just have to rough it. I'm going to be just like everybody else with no hot tea. The bigger a musical act gets, the more outrageous their tour rider becomes. For those not in the biz, a tour rider is a list of things that an act expects a venue to provide them with. This can range from anything from food to their preferred temperature in their dressing room. The wildness of Mariah Carey's tour riders has been speculated on for years. Various outlets have reported different versions including 20 white kittens, 100 doves, 80 security guards, and butterfly-shaped confetti. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. This is for everybody out there with a dream. And of course, have to dedicate it to our new president. Number one, she claims she doesn't know Jennifer Lopez. Do you know each other? No! No. Okay, you, here's she the says thing. you know her. Okay, I know she. You know what? I'm very forgetful. This might just be the best shade of all time. When asked her opinion about established star Jennifer Lopez sometime in the 2000s, Mariah claimed, I don't know her. Do we really need to explain how absurd this is? Mimi has continued to claim she still doesn't know JLo, which has led to a lot of debate around whether she's pretending she hasn't heard her because she doesn't think she's famous enough, or that Mariah hasn't met her, or that she has a really bad memory. What do you think about people still referencing I don't know her all these years later? I still don't know her. The latter might be true, and JLo herself joked about it on The Wendy Williams Show in 2016, when the talk show host brought up their perceived feud. <laughs> she, she does say that. Yeah, she she's does. She's forgetful, I guess. Yes. <laughs> uh, I don't know. We've met many times. Uh, I don't know. I don't know her that well. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Ms. Mojo and subscribe for new videos every day.